Hey, y'all, gravity. Any day above ground living. <clears throat> I ain't going to be on here too long, but I woke up to this this morning. So apparently this happened overnight. Baltimore has lost the major bridge. <clears throat> Let's see how fast they get this rebuilt. So for those who don't know, last night, a cargo carrier that saying came out of Singapore crashed into a support beam or support structure for the Francis Scott Key Bridge in Baltimore and completely collapsed the entire bridge. The aftermath is kind of crazy. They said they rescued a couple people so far out of the water. Uh, the governor, I believe, made a statement. I'm trying to find it right now. Um, let me see. So I'll share this CNN tab with y'all because I was reading this while I was letting the music play. So at one, what time was this? This was three hours ago. They said rescue crews, rescue crews reportedly searching for seven people after Baltimore Bridge collapse. Rescue crews are searching for at least seven people in the Patapsco River after multiple vehicles fell into the water when the Francis Scott Key Bridge collapsed overnight. A Baltimore City Fire Department spokesperson told the Associated Press. Local agencies received 911 calls about at around 1.30 Eastern Time, reporting that a ship traveling outbound from Baltimore had struck a column on the bridge. Kevin Cartwright, Director of Communications for the Baltimore Fire Department, told AP. <coughs> Um, they said they were, uh, response teams, when was this? Like four minutes after that, they said Baltimore is facing a mass casualty multi-agency incident with response teams working to rescue around 20 people. So they upped it who may have fallen into the river when the Francis Scott Key Bridge collapsed. So they said the water was around 30 degrees Fahrenheit. There could be a vehicle as large as a tractor trailer on the bridge at the time of the collapse. Yeah, the vessel that hit Baltimore's Francis Scott Key Bridge was a container ship, the Dolly, according to public affairs officer, Kimberly Rees of the U.S. Coast Guard's 5th, 5th District. The 948-foot container ship Dolly hit the Francis Scott Key Bridge at 1.27 a.m. Eastern Time and subsequently collapsed, Rees said in a statement. The maritime tracking website Mar Marine Traffic sorry, showed that the Singapore flagship stopped in Baltimore, where it was departing with the destination of Colombo, Sri Lanka. The website showed the ship stopped around 1.30 a.m. it was surrounded by first response boats. At about 1.30 a.m., <coughs> excuse me, local agencies reported receiving 911 calls that a large ship traveling outbound from Baltimore had struck a column on the bridge. Mm. The water at the scene of the collapsed bridge is about 48 degrees Fahrenheit, making rescue operations all the more urgent for anyone who may potentially be in the water. That was about two hours ago. Hmm. So they send Myersk, who basically makes the ships, chartered it out. Mm. Crazy. 
cruises, cars, and commodities. All right, that's about the thing. And the White House is <coughs> closely monitoring. Right now, they said it doesn't smell like terrorism. They know there's war, there's cars in there. Ship's lights flickered and veered off course shortly before Baltimore Bridge hit. They said they had a power failure. Maybe. And that's what it looks like this morning. Damn. It's crazy. And FAA said five minutes ago, <clears throat> no planes over the wreckage site. I don't think it was a white guy that did it, Brandon. They said they, they contracted it out to Singapore. So could have been one of them. And we'll see. So this is Westmore's statement. My office is in close communication with U.S. Transportation Secretary Pete Buttigieg, Baltimore Mayor Brandon Scott, Baltimore County Executive John Olszewski, Olszewski, whatever, and the Baltimore Fire Department as emergency personnel are on scene following the collapse of the Francis Scott Key Bridge. I have declared a state of emergency here in Maryland, and we are working with an interagency team to quickly deploy federal resources from the Biden administration. We are thankful for the brave men and women who are carrying out efforts to rescue those involved to pray for everyone's safety. We will remain in close contact with federal, state, and local entities that are carried out rescue efforts as we continue to assess and respond to this tragedy. So that's his statement. <clears throat> See something. Let me go watch this. Line. You can see some of the debris in the water. Looks like it's over that container ship. As the sun rises, we've been getting a better look at the scene and again, a massive rescue operation that is now underway. First responders talking just a little while ago, detailing the massive effort efforts to reach people who remain unaccounted for. We are still very much in an active search and rescue posture at this point, and we will continue to be for some time. Right now, we know there were cars on the bridge when it came crashing down. The exact number is unclear. However, emergency crews do say they believe there are at least seven people who went into the water that remain unaccounted for still at this hour. We know two people have been pulled from the water. One of them, incredibly, was not hurt, actually refused medical treatment. The other was taken to the hospital in very serious condition. This morning, the county executive, the mayor offering their thoughts, their prayers to everyone involved. This is a unthinkable a tragedy. Uh, we have to uh, first and foremost pray for all of those who are impacted, uh, those families, 
I pray for our first responders and thank them, uh, all of them working together, uh, city, state, local, to make sure that we are uh, working through this uh, tragedy. We know that we have a long road ahead, not just in the search and rescue, but in the fallout following this. Uh, I think we appropriately have our attention on the search and rescue efforts currently. Uh, and just here alongside uh, our partners in the city to say that they have our full support. It is because of all of that that, that Governor Westmore is now declaring a state of emergency in Maryland. He says the declaration will allow the state to access some federal funds that will help with the emergency response to this. He says not only are local and state emergency crews working rapidly, but his office is also in communication with the feds, including U.S. Transportation Secretary Pete Buttigieg. The governor adding he's praying for everyone's safety. His office already announcing that they're going to be holding a news conference near the scene. That is expected around 9 o'clock this morning, just about 30 minutes from right now. We will bring it to you live as soon as it begins. We have live coverage this morning on this breaking news overnight of the Francis Scott Key Bridge collapsing. We want to bring in Shannon Lilly. She is live from the eastern side. She's been in that Dundalk area all morning long. Shannon, you've seen a lot of rescue crews going to and from that situation. Are you still seeing them pouring in? We still are. Yeah, Megan and Mackenzie, this has been going on throughout the morning. We've been here since 4 a.m. and it's just been a continuous trickle. There's actually a few more of them now. You can see behind me those um, emergency vehicles there on the on the on ramp. And then just beyond that, we've been showing you throughout the morning where this bridge collapsed and, and even behind those emergency crews, we can see the cargo ship as well. So it's been truly just unbelievable to really see it right here before our eyes. You guys mentioned that press conference that's supposed to happen at nine with the governor. We do expect to get an update. Uh, and then we also are expecting to get a, a, an update from the, from the Coast Guard and the MDTA with another press conference around 930. So more information to come. But right now, the latest we've heard is that the major Major focus is that active search and rescue effort. And, and we've been hearing all morning long that seven people are, are being searched for. So seven people possibly in the water. But again, we've been hearing that since we arrived here. So we do hope to get an update of what circumstances are right now. We know it's been brutally cold, especially when this incident happened. And so to only imagine what it was like like in the water at that time. Uh, again, it's too early to say, according to the MDTA, what caused this cargo ship to ram into the bridge. But we do know that two people were already removed from the water, one miraculously not injured, the other taken to shock trauma. And this search and rescue effort continues. Drivers are being asked to avoid this area. And so, again, we do expect to get more information both at 9 and 930. And we will keep you posted with all the latest as we get that new information coming in. Mackenzie, Megan. All right, Shannon, thank you so much. We'll stay updated for all of this. And later on the show, we'll take a look at the reaction that's pouring in on social media about the collapse on the Key Bridge. You're watching Fox 45 Morning News, all local, all morning. Mom was always very self-sufficient, but we started noticing things were off. All right, so you got that. <clears throat> this was in Baltimore, Iron Willing, good morning. Might as well address the family. Cosmo Fury, good morning. Miss Stacy, good morning. Brother Torian, good morning. I know you're watching this intently. Brandon McCuller, good morning. <clears throat> Danielle Meyer, good morning. Preparations Nation, good morning. Shamika Gray, good morning. Follow Jay. Good morning. John Guillory. Good morning. For those who haven't said anything in the live chat or the comment section, good morning as well. Yeah. <clears throat> Damn, they have a live, they have a live cam. Oh, 
All right. Let me see something. Oh, that's just that. Okay. Yeah. Shamika, call your people. Make sure they're all right. Yeah, but that's the devastation right there. I think I'm going to hang around. I want to see what this, this governor says. Traffic update. So here's the bridge. <clears throat> so they're saying, let's see. Traffic is being detoured onto I-895 through the Harbor Tunnel, through the city. Traffic is backed up around I-95 near Canton. Um, hold on one second, family. Uh, somebody's calling me. Let me see. I'm going to go back to the live feed. learned that the ship struck the bridge. It was a Singapore-based container ship. Dolly is what it's called. It's nearly a 1,000 feet long. It arrived in Baltimore three days ago. And according to VesselFinder.com, Dolly left port just after 1 o'clock this morning. At 125, maritime traffic data shows the ship suddenly diverted from its straight course and began to slow down. Around this time, video shows that all lights on the exterior ship suddenly went out Smoke began billowing from the top of the ship, and then Dolly hit a port of the bridge at 128, causing it to collapse. We've got live team coverage for you this morning on this breaking news of the Francis Scott Key Bridge collapsing. In a few minutes, Olivia Dance will be live from the western side of the bridge, but we begin with Shannon Lilly. She's live on the eastern side in Dundalk, and Shannon has been there live for us all morning, talking to folks and watching emergency vehicles come in and out. We are actually going to go to Olivia first. Olivia is live for us now. Olivia, I watched one of your interviews with the former Baltimore uh, City Fire Operations Director, and he was explaining what he heard this morning, and it was chilling for to hear him describe what he thought was an earthquake, only to find out that it was actually the Key Bridge collapsing into the river. What can you tell us now? Yeah, Mackenzie, that really that that really stood out to me as well. He and his wife said that they woke up this morning to what sounded like an explosion and felt like an earthquake, and it was dark out, so they really didn't know exactly what was happening until uh, they they looked online and and started to get some more information. But we're actually in one of the nearby neighborhoods right now. We moved about five minutes away from where you last saw us. We were on Fort Armistead Road, which is where one of the road closures were just about a mile away from the bridge and we were seeing emergency vehicles all all morning long but now i want to step aside and and have our photographer emma zoom in because we actually can see the bridge here and this is uh, the first time this morning that we're actually seeing the key bridge collapse in person and it really leaves you speechless i mean it, it, it's shocking uh, to see the damage it, it's devastating you can even see the cargo ship from from where we're standing here we're just in a neighborhood nearby so uh, the main focus right now is really on the search and rescue mission. The water here, there's there's a lot of water to search through. So Baltimore City fire officials and Baltimore County officials said that they are, are very much still um, in a search and rescue and they have a, a lot of area to cover below the surface of the water, uh, on the surface of the water, and also they still have to search the, the cargo ship there. So really just kind of devastating. I mean, seeing this in person, like I said, it really does leave you you speechless and you can get a better view of the damage here. And we, we, we were told by uh, Baltimore fire officials that they're currently looking for upwards of seven individuals. They couldn't give us an exact number, but at least seven people. Two people were already removed from the water. One individual miraculously was not injured at all, refused medical transport. 
The other, though, is in serious condition, taken to shock trauma. We're not sure if those two, two people are included in that uh, number of seven that they're currently looking for or not. They were not able to tell us that information. But obviously, the main focus is on the search and rescue, and we can just hope and pray that everyone else will be okay and just hoping that this, this rescue goes successfully. Back to you guys. Olivia, thank you for monitoring what's happening on the scene here. Just some fast facts about the Francis Scott Key Bridge over the Patapsco River. It spanned 1.6 miles. Construction on the bridge began in 1972. It opened officially in 1977. Scholars believe the span crosses within 100 yards of the site where Francis Scott Key witnessed the bombardment of Fort McHenry the evening of September 12, 1814. That is the battle that inspired him to write the words of the Star Spangled Banner. So a Maryland landmark this morning we are seeing in the river. Let's go now to Shannon Lilly. She is live for us on the eastern side in Dundalk. Shannon, you have also been there all morning. What can you tell us right now? Well, we just continue, Mackenzie and Taylor, to see these emergency vehicles trickling through all throughout the morning. Even right now, we're seeing even more actually come through. I don't know if we can turn turn the camera here. Um, yeah, it looks like we're seeing more come through state troopers. And we do know that um, there's a press conference that's supposed to happen at 9 o'clock. And we do, or 9.30 now, it's been moved to 9.30, where we do expect the governor to be here. And so... Um, we are awaiting for more information on that. Initially, we were told it was going to be in another location at 9, now 9.30 here. Um, and so we hope to, to get more information. But if you do kind of, if we pan over a little bit, you can see what we've been showing you all morning long, which is right where that bridge snapped in half. And you can see the cargo ship as well. I mean, just truly um, a, a site that's really hard to take in. Uh, like Olivia was saying, though, the major focus right now is that active search and rescue for at least seven people and possibly more in the water right now. But still too early to say what, according to the MDTA, caused this cargo ship to ram into the bridge. Um, but we are definitely seeing the aftermath here a complete collapse. Um, as for those rescue efforts, we know that the U.S. Coast Guard is involved. They're using boats and a helicopter in their effort. Uh, we've been hearing choppers above us all morning long, and drivers are being asked to avoid this area, avoid the 695 corridor. Um, and again, two people, they were already removed from the water, one miraculously not injured and the other taken to shock trauma. And we're also learning that at this point, there was no indication that this was intentional, but still so many questions about how this could happen, who all is being impacted, just the, the magnitude and the scope of this that we're still just beginning to grasp. Um, and so we do expect to learn more in this press conference at 9.30. Again, the governor declaring a state of emergency for this area. So we, we expect to get more information in that. And we'll keep you guys posted. Mackenzie, Taylor. All right, Shannon, thank you so much. Obviously a fluid situation, so be sure to stay with Fox 45 all morning long as we continue to follow this fallout from the Francis Scott Key Bridge collapse. We'll bring you the latest developments as they happen, including news conferences when they happen. And today we're staying mild, but we are tracking some rain later this week. Coming up, when the next weather maker rolls through and how long it sticks around. All right, so there's there's that. Tommy Freeman, good morning. You said it's suspect. Well, they said that the container ship was, it looked as if they were losing power before this happened. And when you lose power on a ship like that, that affects the navigation control. So they probably weren't even in control, but... No, let's let them do their investigation. No speculations around here. All right. Let me see what X talking about. That's the video we saw. That was this morning. Um, let's go to latest. So someone has aerial views. (coughs) 
Uh, really, dude? <laughs> you got to love high IQ. Got to love them. That's why you only got 10 people following you. Just because they said there's no terrorism does not mean that their investigation is done. Jesus. I didn't know we had to restate that, but, you know, that's high IQ for you. <sighs> now, look, here we go. Look closely and you'll see the ship was steered to hit the bridge. Long story short, this is a deliberate attack. Okay, so let's ask the question, why would Singapore attack us? Why would they do that? You gotta you gotta love the conspiracy theorists. You gotta love them. They see this and they uh they they brain just gets spinning. I mean I respect it, but sometimes you just gotta say, listen. And everything is deliberate. I know human error, we like to say things are deliberate. That's Let's chill. So you just took old boy and Lord have mercy. So so they're just going to run rampant with it. All right. Say less. Likely a false flag event. Oh, boy. Oh, Jesus Christ. <laughs> hmm, what's this? Of a bridge in Maryland. It happened just before 1.30 a.m. A cargo ship strikes a pillar of the Francis section of that bridge into the river there. You can see it on your screen. Wow. Uh, officials say two people have been plucked from the water, one in serious condition, so serious they're unable to debrief that person. And Maryland's governor has declared a state of emergency. This is a bridge along Interstate 695 in Baltimore County. It's more than a mile and a half long. And underneath it, Many cargo ships pass daily. The port of Baltimore is just behind it. Rescue crews now I was trying to call Kenny Hotep, but I only got his Skype number. Actively searching for possibly seven people in the war. We are still very much in an active search and rescue posture at this point, and we will continue to be for some time. We have a large area that we have to search. This includes on the surface of the water, subsurface, as well as on the deck of the ship itself. We're going to begin our coverage with Nicole Skanga, who has made her way to the scene. She's in Dundalk, Maryland, not far from where that bridge went down. Nicole, good morning. What are you hearing? What are you seeing? What do you know? Good morning, Tony. Well, details are still emerging this morning, and Baltimore fire officials saying they've rescued two individuals from the water, one of them uninjured, one of them in serious condition, and transported to an area trauma center. Now, the search area here is large, and officials are reiterating they have used specialized sonar equipment to detect multiple vehicles underwater. They've not yet said how many, but they are looking on the surface of the water, underwater, and also on the deck of that ship. Video captures the terrifying moment a container cargo ship plowed into a massive column supporting the Francis Scott Key Bridge in Baltimore. Moments later, you can see flames and thick plumes of smoke coming from the ship. Then the section of the bridge starts to crumble before collapsing into the Patapsco River below.
the entire bridge, the entire key bridge in the harbor. The Baltimore City Police Department said only part of the 1.6 mile long bridge collapsed. Video shows multiple cars driving on the bridge at the time. They could not confirm how many, but did say there was at least one the size of a tractor trailer. They were workers. That was their vehicles. They were pouring concrete. Baltimore police say there is a possibility construction workers on the bridge may have fallen into the river. Rescue teams are looking for up to seven people who may be in the river along with an unknown number of vehicles. Water temperatures at the time were 48 degrees, putting anyone in the water at risk for hypothermia. This water is, is, is current uh, influenced. So right now we think the tide is coming back in. That adds a bit of a challenge to us also. We wanted to know what the bang was. Ship hit the key bridge, sinking, the bridge is gone. An official with the Coast Guard in Baltimore confirmed the 974 foot long and 161 feet wide Singapore flag cargo ship called the Dolly collided with the bridge. It was headed to Sri Lanka. Never would you think that you would see, physically see the key bridge tumble down like that. It looked like something out of an action movie. Now, Maryland fire officials say the crew is still on board the ship. The owner of that ship confirms that all of that crew, including two pilots, are accounted for, accounted for remarkably. None of them were injured. Now, the White House says they are closely monitoring the situation, and an official tells CBS News there's no indication of any nefarious intent here. Hello? Yeah, that's crazy. Hold on one second. Yo. What's up, hey, man, what's up? I, I hear you. Yo, you cool, though, about that bridge last night? Yeah, I, I saw it this morning, too. Yeah, and you know them, you know them folk down there. They already speculating. Yeah. That's crazy, yeah. but as long as you say, brother, that I, I was checking because I was like, "Damn, can around there?" So he he probably out there. Bridge of all things, like it's other things you could attack. The key bridge ain't one of them. 
Yeah. You know what I mean? Yeah, we start seeing major bridges go down at Fort Hall, like, you know, then, okay, maybe we might got something happening, but, our, you know, Maryland's like the ninth largest, like, seaport as far as, like, uh, goods and services and goods coming in and stuff like that. So, I, don't, I can't see somebody doing it here. You know what I'm saying? So, I think it was legit. Just something happened. Some company cut corners. Like, we don't need no tugboat. We'll get it. And then that happened. Yeah. So, yeah. But as long as you save, brother, that's that's all my concern was. I appreciate you checking in on me, y'all. Yeah. All right. All right. All right, bro. Yes, sir. All right. I don't know if you heard that because it was kind of low, but I, I had to go check on K and Hotel because he he that's his area. So he saved, so we good. And he said he gonna stream later, so. I guess we'll uh we'll check him out afterwards. Ooh, who is this? I ain't simping. Of, of everything that that really seems to paint a picture of how this cargo ship came in and eventually hit the structural beam. You can see it on your down, right Smash Brothers. of your screen as it comes in to the, the 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 water here. You can see it starts to lose power as it approaches this first beam here. And as this sped up video continues to show you cars going across the bridge, it continues the recovery of the lights right here. But Bruh, wait, for it, wait for it again. Wait a minute. We this saw this video on X. Don't tell me the container it, ship Lord. prior to it even reaching this beam where it hits and causes the collapse of the of the uh, Bruh, wait the a minute into the Patapsco. This is a sped up version of what we learned happened at 1.30 this morning, just before emergency crews got to the scene there. Now, Don't we're tell me y'all speculating as well. Point of it from uh, the morning, the sunlight here, dawn's early light, a grievous morning here in Baltimore from David Simon. Obviously a nod to the Francis Scott Key Bridge and the Star Spangled Banner. We're going to continue to follow social media and bring you the very latest. Mackenzie. All right, Taylor, thank you. And be sure to stay with us. As Wait a minute, let me go back to this old. Morning for Westmore, but we can see right now, insight and perspective. I'm sure we will have much more to talk about as this. <laughs> Just pouring into our newsroom. Let's take a look at Calm down, Smash Brothers. We're seeing on X, and they really start to paint the picture of what happened here. List this morning. Let's go back out here to Raw News Alert. There, right now is eight fifty four, and we'll take. A Calm down, Smash Brothers. I helped y'all out. I don't know. Hey, Gray Black Shark. Good morning. You said the other bad thing about cars falling into water is the pressure on the doors once they're underwater. If you don't have a glass breaker, it'll hardly get out. Yeah, they make these cars like in the. Oh somewhat indestructible now especially with high impacts and such the like whoo that's crazy uh let's see what else x is talking about um let's see what the fuck are y'all doing never mind i'm not even i don't i don't even want to oh the root is such a clown organization what what uh, y'all struggling why don't y'all just go ask him how about that stop speculating just go ask him uh, jesus christ <laughs> Just ask him. It's not that hard. Wow. Oh, look at, look, look. I guess we can do a sports segment. Look at Fat Boy. What the hell? What the hell? Okay. Look at Fat Boy. Sports. He's about to, he's going to go in on Caitlin Clark. Okay. Let me hear it one time. Let's, let's, let's do playback speed. Let's, let's hear you. For the past year, Clark has walked the line of carrying herself with oh, just enough swagger and bravado to grab your slick. attention. 
and just enough likability and humility to make you love her. I love Caitlin Clark. Oh, we know. I like how you wrote this, though. This title headline, Shut Up and Dribble. Okay. Okay. Let's go. Your wife got crowd for the turn on you, but I'll go ahead. She's made me a fan of women's college basketball. Saturday, however, was the first time I started to have reservations. Saturday was the first time that I pondered whether all the national commercials, the name, image, and likeness money, and all the adulation had turned show white into just another spoiled and titled jock. What did you just call it? Hold up. What are y'all calling it? Oh, commercials, the name, image, and likeness money, and all the adulation had turned show white into just another spoiled and Show white. That's what he said. Show white. So you stole the 80s Lakers moniker of Showtime and said show white? This is what this is what society is knowing now. Wallow J said Caitlin Clark is gonna come out as a lesbian watch. Who cares? I don't give a damn. Who cares? Show white. All right. You got it. Titled Jock. I have to admit, <clears throat> some people spotted this ugly trend long before I did. Perhaps I was too caught up in defending Clark from her bigoted and jealous critics, and I couldn't see that Clark has some uh, Johnny Manziel tendencies. Bigoted. Foolishly. I thought a young woman from, an, from Iowa wouldn't act as arrogantly as a Texas quarterback. But money. What the fuck? Okay. Who enabled their arrogance? Who enabled it? I ask you, Jason Whitlock, who enabled Johnny Manziel's arrogance? That's right. The media. Who enabled Caitlin Clark's arrogance? That's right. The media. You all ran around looking for the next great white hope. You did the same thing with Nikolai Jokic. No, I'm sorry. Nikolai Jokic out in Denver. You did the same thing. Running around talking about he's better than Joel Embiid. He's better than Kevin Durant. He's better than LeBron. He's the future of the league. And he go in there like every four games, he's getting thrown out for arguing. You did the same thing with Luka Doncic. And he ain't play a game where he ain't get attacked. What do you mean? Y'all hate black athletes so much. You trying to prop up the white person so the white person can get all the adulation that the black person should be getting. You did the same thing in 2011 with the Heat and the Mavericks. You did the same thing. Especially when they when y'all caught LeBron and D Wade doing the coughing stunt, which I said was fucked up. You must be insane. And and that that line talking about her her big bigoted her bigoted haters. What? So she does the John Cena slash Tony Yayo. We're going to call it the Tony Yayo. Y'all love this shit. Angel Reese does it as a clap back because that's how you play in basketball. Y'all said she was a thug. Caitlin Clark does a moving screen that damn near injured a player. Y'all barely said anything. Angel Reese gets into a scuffle against South Carolina, and y'all wanted y'all damn near almost asked her to get arrested. Yeah, who's the bigots? 
fame and social media corrupt the same in Iowa as it does in Texas. At this point, it's quite clear Clayton Clark isn't much different from Colorado quarterback. Oh, Shador good God. Sam. You guys remember Shador that gets all up in everybody's face and points to his watches. Oh, good God. Hopefully, the difference might be the two dads. Caitlin's dad. What the hell? The problem. Here we go. Here we go. So now you're going to knock Deion Sanders, who's been quiet all year, all, all this year. You're going to start knocking him now. Lord have mercy. I swear to God, they're going to meet. Them two brothers are going to meet up somewhere and fat lock on back down like a son bitch. What? No, 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 no. Bro, ain't no motherfucking way, bro. Ain't no motherfucking way. Why is Dion in this? I'm sure they dropped an almond ad. I actually have full monetization. I'm actually shocked. Like I can't believe that the the green is still on. Never mind. They 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 saw I was live. They said fuck you. <laughs> Check that shit in. <laughs> Put that in your rotation. Go ahead. Might as well get paid off three minutes. Why not? Bruh, hey, family, we won. We're going to finish this. I'm going to show you how we won. And is apparently trying to correct it. Deion Sanders, Colorado's coach and Shadour's dad, thinks his son walks on water and his son can dictate where he plays in the NFL. Uh, we'll get to that a little later in the show. Uh, perhaps tonight, when the Hawkeyes take on West Virginia in the second round of the NCAA tournament, we'll find out if Brent Clark, Caitlin's dad, reached his daughter. I hope he has. The glut of money that has flooded into professional and college sports has made it nearly impossible to disciple young athletes. You can't lead them anywhere. You can beg them to follow, and that's about it. They're child TV and movie stars. Fame may have already stolen Clayton Clark from those of us looking for sports stars who remind us of the so-called good old days. My whole love affair with women's college basketball is driven by my attempt to find a replacement for the NBA and men's college basketball. The NBA, it's unwatchable. Players don't care about the regular season. It's way too much isolation basketball mixed with jacking up three-pointers. In the college game, the transfer portal and young players turning pro early, they, they ruined men's college basketball. I thought the women's game might fix my basketball Jones. I'm not sure if its traction and relevance will be sustained, however. Clark is headed to the WNBA this summer. I'm highly unlikely to watch that. The players in the WNBA, they're just as entitled and they're constantly whining. This weekend, I watched Southern California freshman Juju Watkins. She's going to be great. She might even be better than Caitlin Clark. But it won't be before it won't be long before she falls to money and fame just like everyone else. You mean like you, sir? Oh Lord. Yeah, the good old days when players were broke. And he thinks that made them better players. Okay, sir. All right. Sure. Um, yeah, I'll, I'll drop the link. I'll drop the link. We could talk. I hate this man. I really do. I, I really hate this man. This man just be talking. And he be talking shit. Why is... I still don't understand why you brought Deion Sanders and his son into this. What the hell did Ray J do now? Oh, the nigga Ray J. Oh, they, okay. Oh, my God. Unbelievable. All right. You got to play his intro. Who cares? What it is. Oh, my goodness. <laughs> I, didn't even, I wasn't even going to come up today, but then... You showed that. I don't get it. <laughs> and like I said, he couldn't just focus on Kalen Clark. He had to bring in Shador and Deion Sanders. What, the, what, what was that? Is that a helicopter? 
Yes. Oh, they might be going to the bridge. Probably. That's why I waited. I Ooh, wait it but is. look, I'm looking and they calling them out. Good. They said she might let's be getting be, cats next. <laughs> let's be real. The only reason he felt some type of way is because Caitlin Clark is a white white woman. Yeah. Because I'm sure he had a lot to say about Angel Reese last year. And oh, speaking he, of Angel remember, Reese, did you, and speaking of Angel Reese, did you see what I put in the chat? Uh, Let's look. Um, let's see. Mm-hmm. Oh, the Be More Navi- Native? No, the the whole thing. Oh, the whole thing. Uh, he was too caught up on the fact that King Clark is white. That's what blinded him. He won't admit it, though. Uh, now they mad at Angel Reese because she waved by to a player who fouled out, called her unsportsmanlike. Yes. Okay. Because she That's- was playing, she was playing Middle Tennessee, and um, she got the offensive foul on one of the players, and it was, and she fouled out. And when Angel Reese was getting up, she waved by to the player. And the player walked off the court. And, you know, of course, the player, you know, she was crying and whatnot. And then they tried to say Angel Reese was unsportsmanlike. She wasn't classy. I hope she mm-hmm. loses her deals and stuff like that. I said, I, I said, they they notice they only do that with the black athletes. They can never be too competitive, especially when up against a white athlete. Because, you know, they always say that they're showboating. They're showing off. They're doing too much. That's not That's not their fault. Some got it and some don't. It just is what it is. It's all part of the sport. Look what's trending. Final, oh, God. Well, that's crazy because Final Destination 5, that was the premonition death was a collapsing bridge. Of course, it wasn't in Baltimore, but yeah. <laughs> I actually remember this video. With the escalator? Yeah. Oh, that's crazy. That's scary, too. And that was one of the deaths that happened in the Final Destination 4. Hey, hey, it's too early. Yeah, that's from yeah, yeah, that's in Final Destination 5. Yeah, too early. Calm down, Smash Brothers. Really? <laughs> so sad for the victims, but this really reminds me of Final Destination 5. Okay. Mm-hmm. And we know that's Final Destination 2. Yeah, to this day, people still don't people people still don't drive behind log trucks to this day because of that one scene. Mm -hmm. A lot of people didn't get on roller coasters because of Final Destination Mm Three. They played on their fears a lot, and of course, you know the first one dealt with the plane, so it's like, damn, Mm -hmm. you can't get on the planes. Don't drive behind log trucks. Do not get on a roller coaster. Well, I don't go to NASCAR, so full wouldn't affect me. And bridges, well. I have a slight fear of long bridges, so there's that. Yeah, yeah. Look at this here. Look. <laughs> Thank you for looking at this from a different perspective. I only watched one game. Maybe she was just off that game, but this is what I noticed. Lord, I, I can't see it. Oh my bad. I'm still looking at the final destination <laughs> yeah. clip. I remember a few months ago I saw a video of her flopping on the court when a fan gently brushed against her. Oh, they got a press conference. Let's see what they talking about. Play the sound. Traffic into and out of the port of Baltimore suspended until further notice, but the port <coughs> is still open for truck trans trans transactions. All right, more reaction coming in from our. I'm down, Smash Brothers. This morning, you've got update you just received from the transportation secretary. Just reminding you, vessel traffic in and out of the port it is done until further notice. They're still processing trucks. Mm-hmm. That traffic is going to be ridiculous. I'm going to walk you back through what we know so far. At yeah, they said mostly the they're sending people to the tunnel. Uh, that, ha- that owns the container ship. They say everyone on board has been accounted for and survived. 22 people on board is what we're learning. But this is just an incredible shot of two of our leaders, uh, Brandon oh, Scott Lord. as well as uh, Governor Moore, looking here at mm-hmm. the cleaner and the wreckage Why? left behind. How is that an incredible shot? What happened around it's just a, it's just a photo. this morning? As Y'all doing know, too much. That cargo ship came through. I would not call a shot of a bridge of collapsing incredible. Incredible doesn't go in this. We've been talking to experts. That's a great to tragedy. How exactly yeah. this happened? 
but we know by 150 crews were already on their way on the scene two people were yeah they're gonna be talking about this all day seven people if you live in baltimore if you, i suggest if you if you want to just uh, um look at something else don't turn on the news because it's gonna be on every channel bridge yeah no longer we're gonna send and, it back to you now and shout out to those out there who was checking in on me i had a few people reach out to me but yeah i live like 45 minutes south of baltimore from this francis got bridge collapse again Rescue efforts continue. First responders search for people who have yet to be accounted for. We're still awaiting another new. Why would you play the music? More information within the hour. Who is producing this show? WBFF. Waiting another news conference. No, I feel you, but I'm talking about the person in charge. Like, why would you have music? And it's upbeat and shit. Thank you, Denise. Y'all had a lot. Dude, get off your cell phone away from the bikes. What is wrong with you? All right. While we wait for Westmore to talk. <sighs> so, All I know is this. The people that was on that bridge, they about to get paid. Mm -hmm. Some serious. Matt, Matt, Yo, you, you didn't think American citizens could own a uh, cargo company, huh? <laughs> that's gonna be a that's gonna be a great lawsuit. Uh, they about to be set for the rest of their life. Mm -hmm. Someone needs to ground her. Looks like her father will help her. She's headed towards the lion's den. Lots of people are falling fast after they get the big money. Okay. Here we go. Most elite female athletes are born men. Oh, Lord. Okay. Sure. All these people bought this and bought these blue checks all because Elon Musk owns the platform. Now, when he drops the platform, I wonder how many people still have it. They're going to get rid of it because they're going to be like, oh, free, there's no more free speech. Mm. It's just crazy how the trends changed. Last night, Diddy was trending everywhere. This morning is Baltimore. Mm hmm. And now Meat Mill's trending. Mm -hmm. And that's basic, basically because of Diddy. Yeah. Not Appreciate sure how you, you, Retro Gemini. Not sure how you thought the national attention and NIL money spoiled her. Star basketball players and college and pros have been complaining about calls longer than I've been alive. This is your poorest... Caitlin Clark, take if you watch all four years, you've known she'd been a fiery competitor long before fame and money. Sometimes it's a bit much, but it's the tight wire elite competitors walk. Nothing about money slash fame has changed her on or off court. Well, this is them. They didn't they didn't they didn't pay attention to this chick until she started breaking records. Then they paid attention to her. Mm -hmm. She's feeling a lot of pressure to win a championship. Well, no kidding. She's a senior. Yeah, this is her last hurrah. Now, it's mm -hmm. crazy. Now, I was looking at it. If LSU gets through the, the Sweet 16, they would probably have a rematch with Iowa. Right. If Iowa gets through, of course, too. <sighs> but, of course, like, like Shark said, meat lock out here. <laughs> Talk your shit again. I agree with you. Oh, Lord. Has there ever been a person who didn't change when becoming rich or famous? I can think of one former president, Jimmy Carter. Okay, who cares? Um, White people's puns hit a whole lot different than ours, I'm just saying. Wait, are you sure she's a senior? Because she said this guy said this season would be her last, so she might be a junior. She just needs a case of the South Carolina Gamecocks boat racing her and the Hawkeyes in the finals, kind of like LSU did last year, but hopefully much worse. Hmm. What? Jesus Christ. 
Your ditty episodes? Oh, Lord. All right. Let's see what he said about Diddy. Let's see. Oh, and that Lord. was on the twenty second, so that was a few days ago. Oh Lord. You got people retweeting this. All right. Let's see. Let's see. All right, let's see what he said. Did you really take the Cat Williams clip? Lord have mercy. The thing is, Jason Whitlock feels like he can't be exposed. Well, remember, he got exposed earlier this year already. That was the fact. Refresh my memory. When he got caught getting, getting trolled by Timmy. And, and he put up the he was kind of out ESPN for something that they did during the during the uh, the college football bowl se- season, and people saw the that team that team uh, advertisement for milk. Uh-huh. Uh, Aaron admitted that he watched his porn. <laughs> oh yeah, yeah, now I remember. Yeah. Like, why would you do that? <laughs> <laughs> no, stop! No, we no <laughs> shock. You had a lot. No, no. He's mad because he wanted to be Deion Sanders his whole life, but he couldn't do the basic thing of the celebration. Well, let's hear what he said here. Fair use. And now I don't want to play. It must. It must know. He says that Diddy and his son, Justin, participated in these freak-offs and this sexual perversion, and that Diddy's son was a key recruiter and a key element in Diddy's sexual perversion. How, how could this be? What man would involve his son in the sexual molestation, allegedly, of minors? of men and women would have his son as part of getting the drugs and recruiting people and bringing male prostitutes and sex workers who who would do this and so then you have to ask the question well would would he really do this with his son and there are some people that that what is that diddy's son just wait what i don't want to hear no more i don't want to hear no more Okay, and it's, it's how did it go? How, how did it go from th- that first line of questioning to you doing a whole paternity test? Like what? This guy just he. he I would he think he would know if that was his son because he was there when he was conceived. The only okay. one that's not his son biologically is Quincy Brown because we know that's Albie Shore's son. But he adopted him. But how did it? But still, how did it go from talking about something very controversial to talking about is that his son, Jason Whitlock? Where are your kids? Stop it! You stop it right now. Probably sprayed all over them damn porn DVDs. Oh Lord, have mercy! He said it. Come on now, dog. Come on, man. You got more? I thought I did. If I have any more, I'll let you know. Okay. I mean, I probably won't. I'll just say it. All right. You want some more? <laughs> I don't got none. I don't got none. I don't want to hear no more. I don't want to hear no more. I'm good. Jason, you better be quiet this year. They already tested you, sir. They already te- oh, 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 Angela. <laughs> she said oh. she blocked her. Didn't she sue someone for blocking her? Scared the truth gonna come. Oh, oh, 
<laughs> what? Dove melanin even tone? What the hell? Yeah, believe it or not, Walmart has a whole ebony section in the um personal hygiene section. I know I that. Know you, I've never oh, okay. seen this. I've never seen this. Melanin Me radiance. Neither. Me neither. Damn, they must have heard about black soap and said they whooping our ass. <laughs> I wouldn't use that. I wouldn't trust it. Wait, what alma mater? Wait a minute. Tony, what alma mater? Oh, Western Kentucky? Oh, Lord. Um, Let them get ran up out of there, too. Uh, yeah, go ahead. Look at who oh, is this? the snowflake. You, you might have to do a story on this. He yesterday he banned. Uh, yeah, he anyone banned anybody. under fourteen needs a social media account. I think I briefly heard about that. I thought that wasn't even a new thing. No, he had that on the desk for a couple months, but he signed it yesterday. How is that even going to work? They're going to sue. That's going straight to the Supreme are. Court. Yeah, that's going to sue. And he said that's you exact, can go in there, delete exact, your account. This is exactly why he could not be president. And I told people that early on before he even ran. I said, y'all better hope this guy doesn't run for president and win. Because look at the draconian laws he has down there in Florida. Imagine him doing that on a... And people had to take a backseat and like really examine that and say, you know what? Yeah, he's too dangerous to be president. I said, y'all thought 45 and Biden was something. Let that man get in. He will make them look like amateurs. Mm -hmm. Both of them. All that power. And, he, and here's the crazy part. Y'all want to let a man who barely won the governor against Andrew Fillum during a controversy as president? People forget mm. about that. He barely won against and if Andrew. That which tells you if that stuff about Andrew Fillum didn't happen, Andrew uh, Fillum would have won by a landslide. Mm. Bruh, so the, reason they, really? so, the reason they, so the reason they voted for him was because of that controversy, not because they wanted to, not because of his policies. Damn, she has policies. He's got to be a Bush baby. If the person staring this shit was black, oh god, here we go with a Didi. There goes Didi. They would have been questioning his credentials to captain a ship, but since the captain was Indian. The investigation is already saying no foul play detected. Okay, so a API. Okay. Oh, it makes you wonder what does uh, Charlie Kirk have to say about this? Not Charlie that no one really is. I mean, no, oh, we don't give a damn. Let me see. When does his Rumble show start? I think it's like eleven a.m. or some shit. I don't give a damn. <laughs> He'll probably be the same one running outside talking about, oh, it, 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 we got, we got, we got to, we got to investigate this. It's Biden's fault. It's always Biden's fault. Oh Lord. Anyway, let's see. Damn, this Westmore taking his sweet ass time talking. Jesus, let's go. Glitter boy killed him. Ron to say, Glitter boy, Jesus. Mm. <sighs> yeah, I know. Even even during natural and man made disasters, they still find the opportunity to sneak a little bit of French in there. Who is we? Who is we? So they got the name of the person who, well, they said they got the identity ethnic, ethnicity wise, but so mm -hmm. that's one of the Vex people and Nimrata. Remember, I told you he, he's for Pacific migration. He wants his people over here. That's a great resume. Oh. Right. Let's see. All 22 Indian crew members. Okay. Well, it's going to How long do you think it's going to take to clean all of that up? That, um, probably a couple months. Now, putting the bridge back together, now, that's going to be that's like gonna a year. It's going to take longer. 
Yeah, that's about a year. Who makes DeSantis high heels? Oh, we covered Christian, that. Christian Louboutin. Yeah, we covered that. We we we, uh, we Google Versace. searched his shoes. We Google, Google searched his shoes. shoes. This motherfucker was spending like sixteen hundred dollars on some on some high heels. It was like, what the hell? Come here, boy. Your sassy ass. I didn't realize. No, it was crazy when I found out he was actually that short. Yeah. So he has a so he has a, so he has a Napoleon complex. Yes, sir. And uh, it's a case study. <laughs> it's a case study. You would think there would be some type of fail safe or structural reinforcement to keep something like this from happening instead of sending all that money to immigrants in other countries, fix the fucking infrastructure here. They have it on the law. So technically, it looks like they're doing something, but they're not. We told you this. Mm-hmm. But y'all don't want to listen. We told you that that whole bill was a griff. But, you know, let the let the black Democrat make shills tell us he's doing something. OK, let's see that bill. This is where the bill is going to get tested. Let's see that bill. He already said he's giving Ukraine another 300 billion. 300 million, right? Yeah, 300 million. Mm-hmm. You could build a, br- a new bridge with that. Now, does he call up does he call up the dancing president and say, "Listen, I got to rescind that 300, but we got you. I got to go rebuild this bridge real fast and get some votes." Mm-hmm. So, I'm sure they're at the border now getting some of the border jumpers to help make that bridge. Look at this. Look. Look. You assholes. You assholes. <laughs> really? This is what you search for. Of course they're going to go to that. He put hashtag cheating wife. It basically suggesting if the, if the ship was piloted by a white guy, it wouldn't have happened. Um, bullshit. <laughs> Um, that could have happened by that could have happened with anyone who right, didn't know what they were we, doing. We know what happened when when a white guy piloted something last time, and water mm-hmm. was involved. But I'm gonna be quiet because then they get mad at me. They be saying wants to say they don't care about race, but if something tragic happens, they be the first one to find out what race did it. They need to knock it off. Fact. Let me see synergy. What's that? What's that thing called? Synergy group. Synergy group. That's not like some diabolical mega conglomerate. Brazilian headed conglomerate. Ooh. Well, well, well. A Brazilian group hiring Indians. Oh, they're just the management company. Well, well, well. Let's see. Synergy Marine Group describes itself as a leading ship manager, noting that it has 660 plus vessels under technical management. Well, 660 plus minus one. We handle a wide variety of vessels. It's owned by Grace Ocean PTE Limited, also Singapore based. Oh, wait, the firm is based. Oh, Synergy Marine Group. Okay. So that makes that makes more sense. The Synergy Marine Group. I think that guy had the wrong thing. All right. See, pays to do research. You saw research in real time. All right, let's see. Let's see if they do DEI. Well, before we do that, let's see. Yes, they do. Okay. Let's see. I might have had the wrong one. What is up with my man's ears? That's wild. You see how they highlighted the blue eyes here? 
Yeah. Yeah. All right. Throwing up gang signs. Yeah, they got a lot of diversity going on here. I ain't knocking it. Do your thing. So I wonder if all you DEI nuts are going to go international now. Y'all going to be quiet. Let me know. DEI is pretty much everywhere at this point. They can't escape it. Right. We will continue to attract, hire, and retain a diverse workforce because as a key source of good ideas and talented applicants and talented applicants will be drawn to work with us. Of course. So what's more not going to talk? All right. Say less. Let me go back to the live broadcast. Damn. That's crazy. That bridge is under the water. Mm -hmm. That's crazy. Let me see. Let me see what they're looking like. Uh, is it this? Yeah, it's this. Let me see what they're looking like. Ship management. All right. That don't look so diverse, but all right. Ship crew management services, expert crew management services. All right. All right. Let me see what they're talking about on Baltimore's thing. Let me see. I just clicked this. Uh, I guess maybe that's it. All right. Uh, vehicles trickling in all morning long, um, but still too early to say. At this somebody point, was right, though. They're glad that this didn't happen during rush the hour. Bridge. But again, what we are seeing is the aftermath. This was a complete collapse. Um, as for those rescue efforts, the last that we've heard, we know the U.S. Coast Guard is involved. They're using boats, mm. uh, a helicopter. We've been hearing the choppers circling around us all morning long. Um, two people Chad, bad, you're wrong. From the water it was in a black city, so it's our fault. Injured, didn't have to go to the hospital. Um, the other taking the shot. We also learned in an earlier press conference, um, the Secretary of the Maryland Department of Transportation reiterating that at this point, there's no indication that this was intentional, which a lot of people were wondering about, especially when we heard that the FBI was involved. But um, we, we learned that, that that was part of a standard operating procedure for this type of um, incident. So again, this press conference is supposed to happen imminently. So we are waiting for that. And then, of course, we'll bring it to you live as soon as it happens. We'll send it back to you guys for now, though. And here we are, Shannon. We are at the eight hour mark now. We know high tide was at 814 starting to move out. Word. That'll help Shout out to there. Lisa. Doing some frantic searching here. Uh, many officials reacting to the devastating event transpiring this morning. We know that a large federal response to this tragedy is already underway. Transportation Secretary Pete Buttigieg issuing a statement this morning, writing on X, I've spoken with Governor Moore and Mayor Scott to offer the Transportation Department's support following the Ooh, vessel strike they dropped and collapse a new bad boys of the Francis trailer. Scott Key Bridge. That's kind of cool. We are also hearing a statement from the shipping giant that chartered the vessel, Marisk, saying, quote, we are horrified by what has happened in Baltimore. Our thoughts are with all of those affected. All right. You know what? I'm going to risk the copyright. We're going to watch this trailer real fast. Let me see how I could. How do I how, how do I do this? OK, I might have to minimize. I am have to maximize this. No. Yes. Hold on. How are you doing? That's too big. Shit. All right. Might have to use this one. Fuck it. Did you watch the last one? Yeah. All right. We'll risk it. I can take it out anyway, so it's all good. If they if they knock me. All right, here we go. Let me see something. Let me go back. What's the mm. no. No. I know what to do. I know what to do. Okay, we'll do it like this. Use that. What I'll do is where the fuck? Mini player. That's what we'll do. That's what we'll do. Y'all gonna have to y'all gonna have to stretch your eyes a little bit. I'm sorry. I don't wanna get hit. Let's see what they're talking about. 
in five, four, three. Don't tell me Marcus got shot again. All right. Come on, Mike, slow down. We are late. My stomach, Mike. I need a ginger ale. Get a ginger ale and nothing else. Are those dogs fresh? For the man. Those dogs fresh? Oh, okay. And yesterday, give me one. Put some relish on that motherfucker. Open the register. Stay right there. Mm -mm. Is that Skittles on the counter, Marcus? This ain't mine, Mike. Yes, it is. <laughs> Marcus, get in the car. He has a gun to my head. Want to deal with him? You want to deal with me? Sorry, sir, but I gotta go. <laughs> Call 911. Aren't you the police? I like that callback from from um the first movie. I like that callback. Hey Reggie, did you eat my snacks? No, sir. You ate my snacks, didn't you? You need to get a job. I'm a U.S. Marine, sir. Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. How Reggie kid grow up that quick? Wait, Tori ain't gone. He might be gone. How the how how that kid's four already? That that's a big ass four year old. I ain't gonna hold you. What well, then you need to deploy? Dad, look. We now have evidence that the late Captain Conrad Howard of Miami PD was working directly with drug cartels for years. Uh -oh. Captain Howard is being frank. Damn. Let's go. <laughs> What the hell? He's texting us from the other side. No, he's not, Marcus. If he's seeing this, I'm probably dead. Fuck! Fuckers! Fuck them all! <laughs> I never met an F word he ain't like. <laughs> I was shocked when they killed the scary oh, dogs. I up this shit's dogs, but I don't trust anybody. You're my bad boys. Now clear my name. You should be careful. All right, at least they incorporated his son again, so that's good. They kind of had to because with how it ended, it ended off with a yeah. cliffhanger. Like, because remember they said like it kind of ended off with he was going to use him like for yeah. their next like mission. Black ops, yeah, like black ops stuff. But you know, sometimes in the movies they forget. They're being set up, detectives. <laughs> We got two suspects, Lowry and Burnett. They're armed and dangerous. In five. So they now they gotta fight the police. All right. Four, three. No, it's still white for blue. It's flammable. I know they're scientists. Y'all are some terrible fucking fugitives. They glitch. Hmm? It sounds glitchy on my end. I don't know why. Maybe maybe, maybe they hit me. Let me see. They might have hit me. Nah, it says I'm still alive. You out of line, <laughs> Jab. He said, my bad boy sounds like a... <laughs> It sounds like a plantation owner, Jesus. Um, oh hell, meat like my rolled over to get breath from Tory and quick launch the buffet master count terrorism team. Jesus. All right, let's finish this up. I need nasty mic. Bad boy. I got this. What you don't do? Uh, All right. Are y'all still in our clothes? Just because we black, we still in your shit? Mm -hmm. What? Look at your shirt. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sorry. That was funny. Purebred white boy. <laughs> Why don't you sing us a little Reba song? Oh, uh -huh. Reba. Sing your favorite. Uh, 
I'm a woman. I'm a strong, I'm a strong black woman. Strong. Yeah, because yeah, she's not black. Yes. What you gonna do? What you gonna do? Mm -mm. That ain't no Reba song. It's from her mixtape. <laughs> <laughs> Jesus Christ. <laughs> All right, I'm getting I'm going to see it. I'll go see. It. This might be the last one, so I'm gonna go see it. <laughs> It's also something that's going to be happening with the Mike Lowry character. They kind of spoiled it a little bit when they, like, when someone had took some pictures when, I guess, when they were filming it, that kind of mm -hmm. spoiled something with his yeah. character. Yeah. All right. We'll see. I'm not going to, I'm not going to, I'm not going to go look. I'm, I'm going to be surprised. Yeah. I'm, that's why I didn't say anything, but they kind of did spoil it um, with yeah. it. I'm, I'm actually surprised. I'm actually surprised you didn't kind of catch on to it because they kind of hinted at it in the trailer. But since you didn't catch it, I won't say anything. Yeah, don't say nothing. I was kind of thinking about writing a Bad Boys um, prequel. Like when they you first mean like you, you mean like when they first got started, like when they first became partners? I'm nah. surprised they haven't thought about doing that. Mm -mm. No, I'm talking about when um, they first got into the academy because they weren't partnered up yet. Oh. And like the I'm way surprised I, they didn't, I'm surprised they haven't come up with something like that. Maybe that if they want to keep this franchise going, maybe that's what they should do with the next one. If they want, if they want this one to be the last one, well, I wanted to make it a series. Oh, yeah, like they they are not partners yet. Like they're both in the in the PD, but they work different cases. But then their cases match up, and then they start working. That'll be the first season. And then the second season, they're still separate, but then Captain Howard, well, he'd be like a lieutenant then because he gets promoted after the first season. He, um, Mike asked him to bring Marcus in, and he said, you two are too dangerous together, but he puts him on like probation. And then at the end of the second season, they, they become full-fledged partners. So it'd be like Miami in like the late eighties, early nineties. Mm -hmm. uh, Denise, they actually knew each other from you know the sandbox. So that's where I would start the first season, like the like the first few minutes of the first season, and then I would explain how Mike's parents died. But um, it's listen. Hollywood's in a bullshit. Is a bullshit sector right now. So I'm I'm okay. They're not looking for my little last channel. Anyway, why is he vet on my screen? That's what I want to know. Good morning. Okay, I didn't say anything to you. Joy Reid keeps a job while the other black women get fired. Who's the other black women? I'm guessing uh, Big Sister Loudmouth. Angela Rye. But, okay. But we knew Joy Reid know, knows how to play the game. She's going to be gone by the, after the election. You watch what I tell you. Um... But yeah, let me see. Let me see if you're talking. Play you. He's still not talking. What is going on? He on CP time. They said nine o'clock. Ain't that a? I guess. <laughs> All right, whatever. I'm sure I'll find out about it later. All right. I guess if nobody else wants to come up, I'm going to end the show. All right, y'all. There's the latest on that bridge collapse. Praise to the victims and their families. We're not going to make this political because let's get past this first. But hopefully y'all will keep abreast of the information. Future needs to play Mike Larry. Calm down. No. <laughs> No, now he could be in the he could be in the movie, but no. And and motherfucker be mad if a, if somebody from Atlanta is in a Miami movie, they get upset. 
But anyway, we're going to get up out of here, Torian. Have a great day. Glad you're safe, brother. Even though you were nowhere near there, but you never know because, you know, shit has a way of bouncing around in the weirdest places. <coughs> uh, salute to everybody in the chat. Have a very productive day. Take care. Stay safe. I got a brand new upload coming at 3.30, so check that out. Run the numbers up. Uh, Torian will be doing his 11 o'clock midday. Go to Lisa Cabrera's jump off. I'm about to jump up in there. Take care. Stay safe. And you know what to do when the agents of chaos come to mess up your existence. Day that they got in. Oh, 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 oh.